Um, I'll take you through a journey of a fantastic company that I've been privileged to join. And uh, I'll give you a little bit of the lesson learned and what we think about the future. So Swipe is actually uh, proud to present the world's first biometric payment card. Here's some video explaining that. It's about to be everywhere. You've seen it in the movies, on smartphones and tablets. And now, also on your payment card. Let me show you. Let's say I'd like some water. Quick, isn't it? And it's highly secure. And let me show you why. This is my payment card. And this is my pin code. I place it here, and I swipe. That's it. And if it's only a chip terminal, that's no problem either. And there's no transaction limits. Forget your pin codes. Forget your passwords. So I'll, I'll go back some years, back to the beginning of this story. And uh, here's a picture of our founder and CEO, Kim uh, Humboldt. At the time, he was a professional um, racing driver in the United States, actually the, the level below uh, IndyCar. So uh, very dedicated racing driver. But one day, he had a great idea. And uh, he thought that it's a hassle with the pin codes, and it's old fashioned there should be a way to combine biometric authentication into a payment card. In 2009, the company was founded as Origo ID and later changed name to the better one, Zwipe. In 2011, then we'd spent about two years of developing a concept, and that actually made sense because, well, the thing has to work. We had some uh, basic funding in place so we could have R&D resources. We moved into this facility here, down in the basement at the startup lab. And um, in 2012, we were able to launch our first commercially available products into the access market. Now, you see that I'm wearing a small badge here. This is actually the same technology applied for an access card. So it means that you can use uh, biometric authentication on an uh, access card without changing the readers that you have on the doors in the building. In 2013, well, we got the big fish in the net, and that's MasterCard. Started to work actively with them, and um, that's, that's a long process, so from when you have your initial talks with a giant like that until you are actually deploying in mass scale, that, that's a bit of a job. Um, about a year ago, Swipe and MasterCard had a huge launch in level 39, that's in Canary Wharf, London, and uh, that brought us a tremendous amount of attention. And as you can see, uh, the company is being noticed. We're, uh, we're about, especially in the payment industry, uh, and also amongst uh, investors. What is it? Well, we've designed a system that does basically three things. We harvest the energy from a terminal, so our card is independent from a built-in power source. We don't need a battery to run it. We take the power from the um, uh, terminal, we authenticate that I am me, and that gives a positive ID to the payment chip. We don't interfere with the payment transaction itself. We had to focus, so we focused on three verticals, access, payment, and government ID. The easiest one to access first was the access control. That's a mature market, and we made these products. So we have a value proposition. Our card is secure, it's fast, and it's convenient for the user. But it wasn't that easy to begin with. Well, biometrics was a bit scary. Um, Microelectronics combined with sensors was a new thing, so we had uh, to resolve some issues there. Uh, there's a security issue talking to the banks and the payment systems. They're a bit cautious going into new technologies like this. We were a small fish in a very complex universe, so to be heard, that's a, that's a hard job. 
And we had to convince some investors and quite a few other things. Well, you know what? We have got the team together. We have um, a fantastic mix of uh, entrepreneurs, young people, combined with senior, legendary people in the industry. We've handpicked them because they all believe in our idea. We are scattered around the world. We have R&D in Colorado. We have our head office in Oslo. We have uh, people in, uh, in, in Asia and so on and so forth. But the team has been essential. Uh, and the thing has to work. So to develop the proof of concept is also ne necessary. Patents and IP, I can't stress it enough. When, especially when you're in this uh, world of, of payment, you have to protect your ID. We have a very good PR uh, process, so we were able to talk about it in professional uh, surroundings. Uh, we decided to go for one vertical to begin with, not trying to boil the ocean. You can kill yourself if you want to do everything in one go. And we got funding to begin with. We had a fan club, Innovation Norway. Thank you very much, wherever you are. Uh, Startup Lab, we love you guys. We're surfing three mega waves right now. That's biometrics, which has been introduced to the world by the mobile industry. We have contactless payment that you see being deployed everywhere, driven by the retail industry, who saves a lot going into uh, contactless. And the anti-fraud and the idea theft is a big thing. So all these things together is important. I talked about the breakthrough last year. We had, um, Mike, we had uh, MasterCard standing out saying we believe in swipe. Uh, that gave us a huge amount of traction all, all around the world. BBC, CNBC, Forbes magazine uh, talking about swipe. So that, that's beautiful. We are mentioned many places. Uh, going forward, I have good news for you. Yesterday, we announced that we raised $5 million in uh, new funding. So that is uh, amazing. And uh, it <laughs> thank you. takes us to a new level. We have uh, partnered with a Chinese group called Quangqi. Now, if you Google them, you will be uh, blown away. They are a fantastic entrepreneurial company to work with. Um, we have an internal campaign called Operation Market Dominance, because we will conquer the world with our ideas. We go forward with strong alliances with some of the locomotives and giants in the industry. That means a worldwide program for deploying pilots. We want the swipe card to be available to any bank in the world. We are scaling up our operations right now. Uh, funding, well, we, we are in a different place today than we were a couple of weeks ago. And we're looking at new physical platforms to implement our technology, such as watches, rings, it can be the jawbone, it can be like any, anywhere you want to authenticate yourself. We're looking at also new alliances. So I think that's Swipe where we are today, a fantastic journey, and the future is even more bright. Thank you. Thank you. Yet one really quick question, and I cut it directly. Yeah. All right. Um, Go. Very, very interesting. It's um, um, you clearly uh, changed passwords from something that you know to um, the identity, which is something you are. Um, the interesting thing will be to see in the future um, when technology picks up, if you can then have identity theft through that. Then you clearly on top of this. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is that if you steal a swipe card, it's useless to anyone because the, the, all the data sits on the card. It's not transmitted over any network at all. Thank you so much, Einar. Okay. That was it. Thank you.